So essentially what our project is doing is we're monitoring the sea cliffs in San Diego County all the way from Scripps Pier all the way up to Bachiquitos Lagoon in Encinitas. So it's about 20 kilometers of coastline and with that there's about 70 kilometers of sea cliffs and we come back about every six months. Um, we try and do scans early in the year during about the springtime, March, April and also during the fall, during October, November. Um, that way we can account for seasonal differences um, between what happens over the summer months versus what happens over the winter months. Um, additionally, one of our projects that we're working on with it is called the rapid response effort. So whenever we hear about a failure that occurs, we try and go out as, immediately to scan it, or as soon as the tide permits us to, to get out there. And that way we can accurately quantify how much has come off the cliff and, and keep track of it. So this is our setup that we have here. Um, this right here is an EyeSight 4400 laser scanner. Uh, it can scan things up to about 500 meters away. Um, so basically it shoots out a laser pulse 4400 times a second and based on how it reflects back and the time it takes to reflect back, it can determine coordinates and generate 3D models. Right now we are at Black's Beach, which is just north of Scripps Institution of Oceanography. And this area has extremely high cliffs. It actually has the highest cliffs in our study area. They get up to uh, about 100 meters in some areas. So um, there's a lot of sediment that can fail and can come down onto the beach. I found interesting results, and there, there are certain areas that are hot spots where we note that there is uh, increased tendency for erosion. And so what we've tried to do at those areas is take samples of the sediment from the beaches and from the cliffs and analyze the minerals and see if we can figure out is there a sedimentological component that's causing this weakness or is it increased groundwater discharge. Uh, we've also tried to um, correlate the data with um, wave energy data, precipitation data, and so we're trying to tie all these pieces together and see what the big picture is.